Hey YouTube, Kira Twig here, bringing you all an update to my Rocket Yu-Gi-Oh! deck profile for April 2021. I've always been a fan of Revolver's main go-to deck in the Yu-Gi-Oh! Vrains series, being the Rocket deck that focuses on summoning out all the different Borload support from the extra deck, and over the years we've gotten the different forms of Borload for the use of Fusion, Synchro, and Xyz, and all of his different uh, Link Monster forms as well. I always like to focus on a pure Rocket deck that doesn't really focus too, too much on the Chaos variant for Chaos Link Dragons and Rockets. So this with this version, you'll get more of a Rocket-based deck that can go for all the different summoning methods using the different tuners, same level monsters, and fusion material for all the different monsters in the extra deck. So let's go ahead and get started with the deck profile. So we'll go ahead and start off with the main deck first for the Rocket Monsters. One of our main go-to ones is Rocket Tracer. A quick effect, you can target one face-up card you control, destroy it, and if you do Special Summon 1 Rocket Monster, from your deck except for Rocket Tracer. Also, you cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck for the rest of this turn except for Dark Monsters, and you can only use this effect of Rocket Tracer once per turn. So with this card being your level 4 go-to tuner, it's our main reliance to get out our Borload Savage Dragon, our main go-to synchro for the deck, and just for the fact that we have a bunch of other level 4 monsters makes it that much easier to summon out, and the destruction effect for our Rocket Tracer can also trigger at the end of the turn the different Rocket Monsters special summon ability and then just going from there also for some of the other abilities when a link monster to set it up for those destruction effects giving us more and more different rocket monsters on the field to use so even though we're not running too too many synchro monsters that can make full focus of rocket tracer it's good to have the tuner option so readily available in the deck i also run three magna rocket dragon one of the few uh you know rocket cards aside from rocket tracer that i am running three of in the deck you really don't need multiple play sets of the other rocket Rocket monsters because they're just easily special summonable from the deck and graveyard back onto the field. But Magna Rocket is very useful when a Link Monsters effect is activated that targets this face of card. Uh, quick effect, you can destroy this card, then send one monster on the field to the graveyard. So the fact that Basically, this card doesn't destroy. It sends, can get around a lot of different monsters on your opponent's field. And then just being able to, at the end of the turn, when it's destroyed by Battle or Card Effect and sent there this turn, you can special summon one rocket monster from your deck, except for Magna Rocket Dragon. Going for plenty of the other options in the deck, depending on the play you may want to go for, whether it's, you know, destroying adjacent cards in your opponent's zone, or even, you know, parallel zones, or spell and traps, or just negating monster effects. You name it, we have all the different rocket monsters ready to go to use for those monsters and i also run three absa router dragon with this one if you control a rocket monster you can special summon this card from your hand you can only special summon absa router dragon once per turn this way if this card is sent to the graveyard you can add one rocket monster from your deck to your hand you can only use this effect of absa router dragon once per turn so the best setup especially is the fact that you can summon out rocket tracer and special summon absa router dragon onto the field just by controlling a rocket monster and then this card can be the target to use for rocket tracer destruction and then being sent to the graveyard being able to add another rocket monster from your deck to your hand so very very useful for the setup it's why i like running three of it and for the fact that you can also just send it to the graveyard with cards like foolish burial and gain those additional searches also for some of the lower numbers for the rocket monsters still running the two auto rocket dragon having the same setup requirements as magna rocket aside from being a level three monster and also going for the sending of spell and traps to the graveyard it's just useful for that scenario there's more situations where I found Magna Rocket being more useful because more people use monsters than, you know, spell and traps in a good amount of decks to destroy. So this card's a great option still to have, and it's got a pretty good powered up attack stat compared to uh, Rocket Tracer and Magna Rocket also having some of the higher attack that can also be boosted with cards like Boot Sector Launch when we set them up on the field as our field spell to go into. I also run two Metal Rocket Dragon. With this one, when a Link Monsters effect is activated, having the same destruction effect, but this one's also being able to destroy uh, cards and basically the same column as this card. So depending on where you set this card up on the field, you have easier destruction set up to rely on. And then more special summoning capabilities at the end of the turn when it was destroyed by battle or card effect. I also run two Rocket Recharger. Now going for the different Link setups, having all of the different boss monsters already set up in 
the uh, graveyard. With this card, if a dark monster you control that was special summoned from the extra deck is destroyed by battle or card effect, you can send this card from your hand or field to the graveyard to target one of those destroyed monsters. Special summon one dark monster from your graveyard with a different original name from that targeted monster. And then also just being able to, if you control a dark monster special summon from the extra deck, your opponent cannot target this card for attack. So more protection against you, but also just being able to recycle your boss monsters back onto the field. Let's say you had Boral Sword Dragon earlier in the game, and then your Boral Load on the field was destroyed. Being able to use Rocket Recharger to set up another play and take your opponent by surprise, because these cards don't really have any restriction for their special summons, so very, very useful for that setup when you can just bring them back out onto the field that much easier using Rocket Recharger. I even considered running this at three, but if I were to do so, I'd probably drop down the number of Metal Rocket Dragon I run in the deck for a third copy of it, but I'm pretty happy with two. It's just another easy special summon, and the fact that this card can be uh, used on the field for the recycle monster effect. You can just, you know, special summon it with cards like Boot Sector Launch back from the graveyard onto the field and then send that way. I also now, for some of the one ofs, run one Silver Rocket Dragon, one Anist Rocket Dragon, and one Shell Rocket Dragon. With Shell Rocket working for the adjacent zones, Anist the Rocket working for the uh, monster effect negation, and also preventing them from attacking. And then Silver Rocket Dragon having the option to look at your opponent's extra deck and banish a card from it. Each one can take away a different card that your opponent may rely on on the field, but I'm only running one of each. They kind of differ and are a little more specific. Some other cards in the deck like metal rocket auto rocket and magna rocket revolve around some better setup and destruction of plays against your opponent these ones like i said more specific the adjacent zones especially just stopping your opponent's monster and then the extra deck option can come in handy but once again more recycle power from the graveyard can be brought up on all these different cards and just their monster effects and when they come into play for some of the more generic dragon support that was still used by Revolver in the anime and just great for the easy link play is two Gateway Dragon. If your opponent controls a link monster, you can special summon this card from your hand. You can only special summon Gateway Dragon once per turn this way. And once per turn, you can special summon one level four or lower dark dragon monster from your hand. So with it, if you're not taking away your normal summon, basically with this card, you can summon out Gateway Dragon and then special summon out another rocket from your hand, meeting the requirements for, let's say, a Link Summon on the field. And if you have to take up your normal summon, it can still be easily set up with, let's say, Rocket Tracer, because then if you have the Abso Router in your hand, another special summon on the field, giving you plenty of monsters to work with a Link Summon or even just the Synchro requirement. For some of the other lower numbers for dragons in the deck, I run one black dragon collapse serpent and one white dragon wyver buster. For the different special summon options, especially if we set up the wyver buster first, we have plenty of dark attribute monsters to banish for this card, and then setting up wyver buster in the graveyard is the normal target we have for collapse serpent altogether. I also run one tempest dragon and one red eyes darkness metal dragon. The tempest for the banish for all the different dragon monsters that we run in the deck, very, very easy to special summon from the graveyard as another target to send also with Dragon Shrine or Foolish Burial and the Red Eyes Darkness Metal is just more easy special summon and another easy card to summon out onto the field from our hand. And that is it for the main deck monsters. We'll now move on to the spells. One of the best cards for the rocket deck is Quick Launch. You special summon one rocket monster from your deck, but it can attack, also destroy it during the end phase. This card's not a once per turn either, which is what I love about it. You can just have two of this card in your hand and have the easy go-to setup of anything you want on the field, whether it be your synchro play, exceeds play, or even your fusion play, depending on if you have the fusion spell to work for the fusion play. You have all these options available to you for summoning out all the different cards in the deck, depending on what you open up with this card. It's it's all up to you or even late game if you open up multiples of this card having link monsters set up in the graveyard i would say is the best way to go about going for your synchro because savage dragon needs to equip a link monster onto it to then summon out this card for more special summoning from the graveyard, I also run three World Legacy Guard Dragon. Easy special summon of a good amount of your different dragon monsters in the graveyard. Being able to move those dragons also can work very, very well for other cards. For the option of just the adjacent zones to Metal Rocket or even your Shell Rocket Dragon, you name it. The adjacent zones for both of these or the parallel zones can be adjusted with World Legacy Guard Dragon on the field. But most of the time, it's just here for the special summon to give me more resources 
forces onto the field. For the field spell, I am running two Boot Sector Launch. I know this card is searchable with our Striker Dragon, but just being able to have this option to search it, and if our opponent does destroy it, I like having one more added backup option, because the special summon with this card from the hand or graveyard, depending on the difference of monsters my opponent controls, or just easy setup on the field, is a great thing to rely on, and then also just another easy way to make use of our Borolod Savage Dragon for the additional special summon from our graveyard, which I'll go over the play at the end of the video for each one of the different summoning methods also. For some of the fusion plays, I run one Super Polymerization and one Dragon's Mirror. I originally ran Polymerization in the deck, but decided to focus just on the better aspect of summoning during the battle phase, and then just giving me resources from the graveyard to use as well for these uh, decks. And they're very, very useful depending on the resource. I don't like to invest too, too much with Polymerization from my hand, because then if I lose that monster, I didn't have to invest as much because I have the battle phase option, and even the rare situation to use my opponent's monsters if they have the dark dragon material needed for a Borload Furious Dragon. For some of the lower numbers, also for these spells, I run one Squib Draw. This destroys a Rocket Monster, and then I draw two cards, giving me the Destruction Special Summon option for the Rocket Monster at the end of the turn. But the draw power can definitely come in handy if I have cards like Boot Sector Launch set up on the field already. The One Foolish Burial and the One Dragon Shrine both come in handy for setting up dragons in the graveyard, whether it be Tempest or Abso Router Dragon for the Search Power. Both also not being the fact that Dragon Shrine is a once per turn and Foolish Burial is not, but you can only run one Foolish Barrel running each means if I open up both, I can send two different dragons from my deck to the graveyard in the same turn. I also run one Monster Reborn for more special summoning resources from the graveyard, just like World Legacy Guard Dragon. Pot of Avarice, I can go through dragons pretty quickly, so being able to recycle them, and the fact that with the extra deck and trying to fit in all the different monsters, I'm only running one Borolode Furious Dragon, so having the option to recycle this card back into the extra deck and then having both of the targets available, first you want to go for the Super Poly play, but being able to recycle it back and then summon it out again with Dragon's Mirror can be a resource that can give you draw power in the main deck, and then having the additional options for all of the additional cards in the deck to use. I did make one mistake with the mix-up of these cards being the foil options, but I am running the two Dragon Shrine, so just a small mistake there. They looked uh, different in the lighting. I thought I was running one additional Pot of Avarice, but for this mix-up, just two Dragon Shrine for the additional setup. Going back to what I said with the Foolish Burial uh, for that option, just having the multiples if I do open up the Foolish Barrel the play still stands but then being able to open up another Dragon Shrine a previous turn afterwards just gives me more send power because there are plenty of cards to rely on and send to the graveyard with these different cards. And that is it for the main deck. We'll now move on to the extra deck. For the link monsters, I run one Borolo Dragon, one Boral Sword Dragon, and one Boral Guard Dragon. I, like I said, the most fun play in the deck is just being able to summon out all the different modes of Borolo Dragon. Revolver's main go-to ace monsters. I know we have a Link 5 monster for this deck as well. I cannot wait till we get that card. I'll definitely be updating the deck uh, then as well, just because it's a true powerhouse being the first Link 5 monster made specifically for this deck. But Boral Sword having the different attack powers and Boral Guard being able to have a more defensive play, while Borolo can take your opponent's resources. Each one can be made pretty much specifically with all the different cards we run in the deck. And also having the different options available to us for these cards is why I like running one of each. Depending on the play you need to go for, they can also work very well by targeting our own uh, rocket monsters, destroying them, triggering these monsters' own effects to send cards to the graveyard or just destroy. You name it, each one has that capability so it's why I'm running one of each in the deck. I also run one Striker Dragon with this card, just needing a level 4 lower Dragon Monster if it's Link Summoned to add one Boot Sector Launch from your deck to your hand. The search for the field spell, it makes this a great card to rely on in the deck as well. And you can target one face-up monster you control and one Rocket Monster in your graveyard, destroy that monster on the field. If you do, add that other monster from your graveyard to your hand. So more recycle power while also triggering more Rocket Destruction. I also run one Booster Dragon, one Overburst Dragon, one Quad Boral Dragon, one Triple Burst Dragon. For the Topologic lineup, one Topologic Trisbana and one Topologic Bomber Dragon. I don't like to go into these often unless I just have to go for a more wipeout play. If you don't want to run Bomber Dragon, I also thought of a Zeroboros Dragon as another Topologic option, just for the different Link Arrows for that setup and banishing cards on your opponent's field. 
the one Saryuja, this card, and the Heretic Seal of Heavenly Spheres are the only ones I took away that are not, you know, actually part of Revolver's deck. If you wanted to add more, you know, faithful rocket monsters for the extra deck, you could take these cards out and then run the uh, Zero Boros Topologic while keeping Bomber Dragon in the deck, and also going for some of the different options, including additional Link Monsters, like maybe a second copy of Striker Dragon for that option. And then for the alternate extra deck options, I run one Boralode Furious Dragon, one Boralode Savage Dragon, and one Boralode X-Charge Dragon. Now, Savage Dragon is definitely the best one of the three just for the ease of summoning it, but all of these can be made for pretty fun options in the deck to use, including X-Charge Dragon, just for the requirements being very, very easy to summon out in this deck altogether. And same with Boralode Furious Dragon, just needing two Dark Dragon Monsters. Uh, I said it earlier, you can just take full advantage of your opponent's monsters, being able to use Super polymerization and then just use their own resources to get this boss monster out and all of them sharing the same attack and defense stats put it at a true powerhouse altogether for the deck now as for our go-to plays when summoning these cards out as i said having setup is the biggest way to get bore load furious dragon but if you go for your initial setup you can summon anything just starting off with rocket tracer dragon uh, for this card the target a face-up card you control and destroy that target to special summon a rocket monster from your deck so what you'll do is you will then summon out your absolute dragon from your hand by special summoning it since you control a rocket monster so then you have the requirement right then and there for rocket tracer then targeting absolute or dragon destroying it to special summon another rocket monster to the deck now if you were to go for the exceeds play you'll want to summon out one of the level four so magna rocket dragon can be a perfect target there and with these two cards you have the easy access for your or load x charge dragon uh, with neither player can target exceeds come in cards with monster effects except for this one and once per turn be able to detach the exceeds material from the scar target a face-up monster on the field and it loses 600 attack and defense then you can special summon one boral monster from your graveyard so x charge dragon is great late game so remember that with these plays but still having that ease of access for this 3000 tag white monster on the field the same goes with your Boralod savage dragon and also furious dragon both relying on link monsters first so the link monsters you can make first definitely will take priority for some of those plays with it being an option to then let's say go for your initial setup with your plays being your uh, rocket tracer dragon giving you the special summon of your magna rocket dragon on the field you can then use the option of magna rocket dragon as your first go to link monster onto the field giving you your striker dragon and then using your striker dragon to summon after searching out your boot sector launch from your deck activating this card then whether you have the rocket monsters in your hand a special summon up to two with different names from your hand in defense position if you have those resources readily available in your hand already that can be an easy special summon if the difference in monsters from your opponent on the field to your monsters you can even use your rocket tracer and your striker dragon for another additional link play lowering the number of monsters you control on the field to then give you more rocket monsters in the graveyard to special summon back onto the field sending the striker dragon for the graveyard can then help set up the fact that you special summon both these cards from the graveyard onto the field going for your synchro play and then having the option to equip that one link one will still give you just one counter on the card but an easier first turn way to go about equipping that monster if you want to wait and go for more of the boro load play then you'll have a stronger monster to equip onto your uh, boro load savage dragon or even even special summon back onto the field when you have your X charge dragon set up, giving you another boss monster ready to special summon out on the field to use. But that is it for the deck profile. I hope you all enjoyed the video. I always love updating the Rocket deck. Like I said, it's one of my favorites to play. Just with all the different summoning methods this deck can do, just like Cybers makes it a very, very fun one. And I can't wait till we get the Link 5 monster because it's just going to add that much more consistency to the deck overall. And until next time, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And Kira Twig out.